Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will continue our topic. We have already seen what is an orthogonal transformation. An orthogonal transformation is a linear operator which preserves the inner product and we have seen this theorem which gives an equivalent definition. That is, it preserves norm or it sends orthonormal basis to an orthonormal basis. We have seen this proof also. After that, we have seen this sum also. I hope you have seen my last video in which I have given this as an exercise. You can see the proof over here. I hope you guys have done this. If not, please try to do the proof of it. If you stuck somewhere, use this as a reference. Also, we have proved this is an orthogonal transformation. So till now we know an orthogonal transformation is a map which preserves angle between two vectors and also the length of the vector. But now we will see one more definition which talks in the similar pattern. What I want to say is now we are going to discuss is what is known as an isometry. An isometry is nothing but a map which preserves distance between two points. That means if I try to define mathematically it will be I have a V a finite dimensional real inner product space a linear operator T from V to V. I will say it is an isometry if it preserves distance that is we know the distance between two points as nothing but norm of the difference between them right distance between x and y is equal to norm of x minus y. So if I want to say it preserved distance means norm of x minus y is same as norm of tx minus ty means if I consider two vector inside v and find out the distance after applying t again if I find out their distance the answer will be same okay. So this is nothing but a definition of an isometry. Uh, I will give an example before that in the next video we will be discussing this let me just tell you okay. So this is our next claim in the next video but for now let me just give you a homework. So we know the definition definition of isometry is a distance preserving map a linear operator is called as an isometry. This is our next theorem that will prove. I request student to note it down if you guys can prove it well and good. If not, we'll see the proof in the next video. But for now, I want to give you an example. This example that map f from R2 to R2 defined like this is an isometric. You guys have to prove this. Okay. So for this video, this is enough. In the next video, I already told which theorem I'm going to discuss the proof of it. Okay. So thank you so much guys for watching this video for any doubt or any suggestion. Uh, just write it in the comment box. I will just get to you as soon as possible. Okay. Bye-bye.